You've probably heard of Huawei, banned by the US government and banned by many of the European countries. This is due to the fact that Huawei is a Chinese brand. That is why it got put on the US entity list, making it so that Huawei cannot sell in the US or use their equipment in the US or even team up with US companies such as Google. This is a big thing because Google owns Android, the very same OS that Huawei phones use. This makes it so that they can't have any Google apps, Google Store, such as Google Play, Chrome, Gmail, and more. So what are they going to do? That's exactly what we'll be discussing today. Greetings! Today we will be discussing what the Chinese powerhouse tech company, Huawei's, solution to the US entity ban is. As we talked earlier, we stated that Huawei it was banned from the US, many European countries, and more. This greatly affects who they can reach to grow as a company. In result, that makes it so that they can really only sell in China. This greatly affects the giant tech company. The company who has their own complete university, student housing, transport system, all on their headquarters property. Because now they just lost selling privileges in the US, the one country that is revolutionizing the entire technology world. That's not all though. Now they are no longer allowed to work with the one company that powers their phones, Google. Google owns Android, the biggest phone OS in the world. Even Samsung tried to make an OS and Android just trampled right over it. Because Android is an open source, the company is still allowed to use Android, but they can't use the Google app, Google Chrome, Gmail, G Suite, Google Play, YouTube, and all the other Google apps. All of Android revolves around these apps, and now they can't use them. So what did they do? They announced Harmony OS. What is Harmony OS? Harmony OS, as stated earlier, is Huawei's solution to the US and European ban. They decided to join the OS battle between Android and iOS and put in their new interconnected OS called Harmony OS. Harmony OS is titled Harmony because it is built to unite devices. It is built to be used on phones, tablets, laptops, TVs, even cars. This, in theory, would allow the OS to be able to connect to everything around it, therefore making itself very efficient. Now you may be asking, wait, how are they going to rise up above Android and iOS, or even so as much catch up to them? Well, the way is simple. They plan to make it so it works for all devices, but they want the OS to be one of the fastest, most supported, most efficient OS out there. And the biggest reason other OS's like Blackberry OS and Samsung OS didn't work is because they didn't have a sophisticated app store such as App Store or Google Play. Harmony OS is going to be able to run APK files. This is the exact same type of app files that Android uses. This means that all the apps on Google Play would be able to work on Harmony OS. So developers, developers would be able to simply grab the app from Google Play copy it and send it to Harmony OS store, allowing for even more customers for their apps. This would help both Huawei and the developers. So who will use Harmony OS? Well most of China already uses Huawei phones, so that adds one of the biggest powerhouse nations in the world. In the future, all Huawei phones will have Harmony OS. Huawei is a very interesting company as they are a lot like Apple as they make their own chips and everything in their phone. But because of this, they are able to experiment, and now they are able to make some of the most powerful phones in the world. Who wants the most powerful phones in the world? Well, that would practically be everyone. Everyone is striving to find the best tech out there, and they are trying to get the most worth out of it. That would mean that the phone would have to be cheap as well. So, they are able to price their phones at the same price as big companies like Apple and Samsung, all because they make their own chipsets. These chipsets are cheap for them to make, but they are still super powerful because they're designed to connect to every single thing in the phone, making it really efficient as we had stated earlier. Another question that you could be wondering is will Huawei ever get back up to its full potential? 
Well, I think that if they make this, that they can. Who knows? In the future, maybe the ban will end up being lifted. But until then, their plan is to come out with Harmony OS. Google wants to work with Huawei. Huawei, Huawei wants to work with Google, but they can't. So if the ban ends up being lifted, I think that they could be able to come in bigger and better than ever before. Now this is just a matter of guessing and opinion, but the path that Huawei is going down is meant to help make their phones better and to help the company grow. But there are more than just phones that are banned from the US. All Huawei things are banned from the US. This means Huawei's 5G system is banned. Huawei happens to have the biggest 5G system in the world, and because of this one ban, they ended up losing it all. This greatly affects Huawei, because right now, the phone battle is all about 5G. You just saw the Samsung release their 5G S series and their 5G A series, and Apple just came charging in with their 5G iPhone 12. Google Pixel is also coming out with 5G, so now it's all about the war of 5G. And this greatly affects Huawei because they could have really grown because of this. In the end, we really don't know what will happen, but we have a good idea of what could happen. We know that Huawei really wants the ban to be lifted because they lost one of the biggest power nations in the world. And they also lost the entire European countries. So we'll just have to wait and see what Huawei is going to do. But we do know that if they go down the path of Harmony OS, it could potentially be one of the biggest OS's out there. Hey guys, thanks for watching my video, it means a lot to me. Lately I've been trying to make the best quality videos I can, and that is why it has now been taking me 1-2 to two weeks to make videos, so if you could subscribe it would mean so much to me. Again, thanks for watching and have a great day.